Hi guys, welcome to week three. We're going to start again with our fart leg session. However, we're not going to be doing it over 20 meter lengths. We're going to be using the full width of the pitch and we're only going to be going for two intensities. First intensity is 70%, so a really good opening out stride and then with a 30% recovering run. Again, for five minutes on with a minute and a half break. If you do want to push yourself, again, add a bit of time on or decrease your rest time. But 70% for a full width into 30% recovery, repeating. Five minutes on, minute and a half off three times. Now this week's session is going to build up on from week one. In week one we had a lot of close ball control skills with the ball really close to our feet, a really tight tidy foot skills. Today we're going to open out a little bit more uh, dribbling through gates, dribbling around obstacles but this is going to be where you're going to be running with a little bit more pace rather than just a close control. See how you get on. So as you can see, this session is working me quite hard already, getting a bit of a sweat on. Uh, what we're now going to move on to is cutting. It's dribbling the ball up to a target, whether it be a cone, tree stump, jumper, whatever you want, and just cutting away from this imaginary defender. It could be with the outside of the foot, it could be with the inside of your foot. And as soon as you've cut, you can then straighten up. In my case, it's going to be through uh, these colored cones. Um, all I want you to work on really is the timing from when you make your cut. You can start it off a yard before the defender if you want to and then just get closer and closer. So increasing the tightness of your turn uh, and the angle that you turn away. As soon as you've done that, it's then my favourite expression. Express yourself whether you want to do step overs, different types of turns. Do whatever you want. Anything skill based just works your feet. And just try and take on this imaginary defender and win. As you can probably tell, that last bit is just a bit of fun. Um, if you want proper technique, then definitely look at the pros doing it rather than me. Um, but again, if you've got a goal um, or something, once you've made the cut, use the target, have a shot. Um, and if you want to, I will do some shooting stuff uh, in weeks to come. Place a couple of cones about a yard uh, inside each post just to give yourself a little bit more accuracy work. Um, or if you've got a, a wall, once you've made the cut, use the wall as a pass put two cones in just to make sure you've got your passing accuracy but again we'll move on to passing and shooting later on uh, as the weeks progress but uh hope you had fun